I'd like to revisit my integration parameters in my method. So I am going to, first of all, select the lowest concentration standard that I have. That's why I have isocratic sample STD001. That is the one that I have highlighted on the left-hand side. That is the lowest concentration of standard. Why do I pick the lowest? Because it is going to be the most difficult for the algorithms to be able to integrate. So if it integrates this lowest level well, chances are it's going to do the other levels just fine. So with this lowest level calibration standard highlighted, I'm going to go to the method layout. In the method layout, I'm going to use my scroll bar to go down to where it says integration events chem station and select the standard integration events. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to change the slope sensitivity from one to 50. Why 50? Because in 95% of the integration cases, this is a good place to start. Is it going to be the place that we end up? I don't know yet, but it's a good place to start. The peak width, we're going to keep that peak width at 0.02. I am going to drop the area reject from one to zero and the height reject from 1.7 to zero as well. And then I am going to right mouse click on the injection on the left hand side and reprocess that selected injection. Now once I reprocess that one injection, you'll notice that my first peak, which is really just a solvent peak, is still being integrated. Then three main peaks are being integrated, but I've still lost on that final peak, that final uh, fourth peak, which is a real peak, and I want it integrated. Uh, it's not being called by these automated integration numbers. So I immediately start lowering the slope sensitivity. So I'm going to take my slope sensitivity from 50. I am going to lower it down to 20 instead. And once again, right mouse click on that one injection on the left hand side and reprocess that selected injections and sure enough lowering that slope sensitivity from 50 down to 20 immediately gets me my much broader peak the last peak at 1.975 minutes but i still have that problem with my solvent front at the beginning of my chromatogram and since it is so large there's no way for me to be able to use anything like um, increasing my area reject or my height reject in order to eliminate that particular peak. So instead, in the integration table, I'm going to right mouse click inside of that integration table, and I'm going to add an integration event. And at, at 0 0.001 minutes, it has a baseline now for the event. Instead, I'm going to use that downward facing arrow that opens up a pull down menu. And I am going to highlight integration instead. And I'm going to turn the integration off at 0 .01, 0 0.001 minutes. I'm going to turn the integration off. Now, obviously, I don't want it to stay off. Otherwise, I'm not going to integrate all of my other peaks. So I'm going to right mouse click again inside of that integration table and add another event. And this time, I'm going to put this at 0 0.35 minutes. I'm going to use that pull down menu again to turn the integration back on. So it's going to turn off my integrator at 0 0.001 minutes. That's going to return it back on again at 0 0.35 minutes. With those two added integration parameters, on the left-hand side, I'm going to right mouse click inside of that isocratic standard 001 and reprocess the selected injections. And voila, it has made a much bigger difference in my chromatogram. So now I have four main peaks of interest that are all integrated. I also now have my solvent front at the beginning not integrated, so it is not causing a problem with being able to view that um, information in my chromatogram. 